So this is kind of a surprise anting vlog. I was only half expecting to actually make this. Um, and well, I suppose if it's, I mean, yeah, we could, could end up getting scrapped, but if you're seeing this, then you know it's not. So we found good stuff. Um, but, oh, there's pogos. Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna stop trying to find ants while I'm recording this intro. But we are at Madera Canyon. We just sent the tent up there. Good old tent. Um, and the reason why we're at Madera Canyon, if you can't tell, rain. <laughs> right now it's very overcast. I don't think it's expected to actually rain here again, which is nice, but it rained yesterday. Within the last 24 hours, this place got about half an inch of rain, which to some of you might not sound like a lot, but to to Arizona. That's quite a bit. And this is the first, like the first summer rain of the year. So it's pretty early. It's June, June 9th, June 10th? I think it's June 10th. One of those, one of those days. Um, and so what that means is that there could be a lot of ants that just don't have a late so ready to go yet. Because our monsoon season normally starts in like late June, early July. So a lot of ants aren't ready to fly until like mid June. And so I'm kind of expect like, when I came here initially, I was thinking, well, you know, we might not catch too much, blah, blah, blah. Um, but it'll be cool to go anyway, and we'll probably find some other cool bugs that aren't ants. Hey, before we get started with today's anting vlog, this video is sponsored by me and the Arthropod Antics Ant Keeping Store. Our formicaria promised to provide you the best visibility and the best space per dollar of any U.S.-based nest maker. And our versatile lineup of products guarantee that no matter what species you keep, we have a nest that's perfect for you. You can head over to our store with the link in the description where your purchases directly fund these trips and help me to put out even more content like this in the future. Thanks. Now let's get into this anting vlog. We've been here for about 20 minutes. All we've done is set up the tent and we have found like five species two of which, at least two, seem like they're like preparing for flights. Like, um, so actually let me go ahead and show you this formica colony that we just found. Where are they? So you can already see this rock is just absolutely covered and they have some pretty large entrances here on the side, which means that they could be ready to fly, um, could be preparing. I don't see any elates actually poking out, but it is still somewhat early. It's, it's about 6 p.m. right now. Um, and I don't want to flip that, like I could flip this to see if there's a lates, but that could disturb them enough to make them not want to actually fly. So I'm not going to do that, but that is a very good sign. Those workers all being aggressive like that around their nest entrances. Um, but yeah, like I'll, uh, there, a lot of this, like I said, it's, it's six o'clock, so it's going to be dark here in not too long. So a lot of this vlog is probably going to be blacklighting because we are going to blacklight. Oh, here we got a... One of those pogo workers, Barbados, pretty, pretty big Barbados. Um, and apparently their nest is down over that way, but a lot of ant activity. So I'm really hoping that tonight is going to be good. And we're going to be doing some night searching too, that it like not at the blacklight, just walking around with flashlights. And so I will be sure to take videos of everything because, uh, hoping that tonight is going to be good. So yeah, we actually just found, here's that the Barbados colony that that worker was from. Ooh. Just huge colony. They're uh, very active. The whole ground here is swarming with them. So uh, I'm going to step back and uh, cease the filming because I would really rather not get stung 20 minutes into our trip here. Um, but yeah, big ass pogo colony. So I'm sure that you can see it, but this is pretty awesome. We are like right by our campground and there's just the Trachymermex arizonensis nest. A very active one too. One of the more active uh, trachy nests that I've seen. And actually, now that I look at it, it looks like they're actually bringing back plant material, not to use as fungus, but to put around their entrance. You oh, notice that, that she floats? Uh, maybe she is taking it in, I don't know. But you see that that thing that she's carrying, and she just brought it in from, from over there, is exactly what they've got all around their nest. And I really doubt that that is good fungus food. So there's, a, there's a bunch of them. They're very active. It's very cool. Big tracking. So we're down nest. here. We came to the, the creek, which admittedly is not being very much of a creek right now. And... uh 
Despite that, there's no shortage of weird water bugs. This is a water scorpion. He's just a guy. He just sits in the water and just eats other guys in the water. Yep. Put him back. Put him back in the water. See it pretty well. Look at this, guys. That is a Lethoceros medius. That is one of the things that we were coming out here to try and find. Uh, I'm going to be keeping this one. If you remember, in episode two, we There's found another one. one. That one's even bigger. Oh my god, yeah, there's another one down there. Look at that. Um, oh, and there's a third one over there. This whole pond is just This pond is full of Lethoceros. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, there's probably more, because this pond is pretty big. Yeah. But I'm going to be keeping whatever the biggest one is in here, because, uh, well, if you remember, in episode two, we found one for my boy Mason, Ants AZ, on Instagram. But um, these guys are so cool. They're the biggest giant water bug in the U.S., and they're just awesome. They're just super voracious predators. And ever since he got his last September in Anting Vlog episode two, I'll link that in a little card up here. But ever since he got his, I've wanted one. And there's four in this pond, <laughs> at least four. And we've been looking like down this whole stream, like it goes back up that way a bit and we haven't seen any. And then in this bigger, this bigger there's section, the branch too. there's just so many. <laughs> That's awesome. So I think this is gonna be the one that I catch because this is by far the biggest. We found like 10 now, but this one is freaking cannibalizing another one. That's so cool. I wanna get it before it runs away, but damn. So we caught big fucker. Big female. Oh, she's big. She's big and she's angry. But damn, is she a cool fucking bug. Look at her claws. Jeez. That is just a stunning animal. Look at that. Very happy to add this one to my collection, and you will definitely be seeing more of it. Wow. Such a such a gorgeous bug. Look at that. So we're out here. We did set up our black light, but we're not watching it right now just because, you know, why not? So we are um just doing some some night searching. We just found this fatally obtusospinosa colony. And they're going kind of crazy. I don't know if you can tell. But they are just going at it. Look at these guys. You can see they have lots of super majors out. No surprise there. So yeah. Very, very cool trimorphic fatally colony. We have been seeing Fidoli Rhea as well. Oh, here, like, they got something. We have been seeing Fidoli Rhea as well. I will show you guys those uh, at some point here. But that was a particularly impressive Obtusospinosa colony, if I do say so myself. So I was walking along here, and I took a second to look up in this tree because when we walked, we're on the way back out. When we walked through here, there was a spider in one of these trees. So I was just looking up to make sure that we weren't gonna walk in the spider web. And I found this guy. That's a giant mesquite bug. I mean, that makes sense. It's on mesquite and it's freaking big, but it's so colorful. Big... Jeez, he's cool. That is a very, very, very colorful bug. Right, I'll get a picture of him. That's so cool. Yeah, I guess I'll just throw that macro picture up really quick. Cause wow. That is an impressive looking bug. Dang. So here's our first um, not totally boring black light find. We have a weird freaking mantis. Big ol' eyes on him. Look at him. It's a male, whatever it is. It's only ever the males that come to black lights. But I think it is kind of funny that you can get uh, mantises at black lights. Just seems like uh, something you wouldn't expect. Careful throwing around like that, he might fly away. Very cool. He's very skinny and pretty big. I don't know what species it is. Um, I'll figure it out so you'll know on the on the vlog, but very cool guy, whatever he is. Okay, we'll let him let him do his thing. Yeah, I got so now of course I'm really hoping for a Haros tonight. But I did find this polymorpha running around. So I guess I know at least that centipedes are out tonight. There's another giant huntsman over here. And then not let him go. Giant huntsman. But then we have a giant huntsman spider that is not very giant. He's a he's a pretty little guy. And then we have 
Oh, oh yeah. Sifo Mermix worker. Lol, stupid. <laughs> but cool spider. So we found this Mermecosystis colony. They um they're not particularly large. They're not small, but they kind of just look weird. Their body shape. I'm not I don't know what it is, but these are definitely not um Mendax group or uh, Melager group, which are the ones that I see all the time. So either way, it's pretty refreshing. So it's a pretty nice find. So I said that I would show you guys some Rhea. We found them. Here we've got. We found them a while ago. But... Well, yeah, we found them a while ago, but this is a this is a much more impressive display from them. Uh, trail goes way down that way, and over here, there's a lot of majors. And of the NC. Lots of majors in there. And they go up that way, and then they come down this way, and the trail actually splits. There's a, a Y split here, they go up that way, and down along here. And then on this trail down along here, they split again right here. You can actually see the Y is very clear. And um, yeah, that's this very textbook trunk trail foraging. And it's very cool and very impressive from these ants. Awesome to see. So we weren't really expecting to find any of these, but we actually found a Diolate Novomesser albicitosis running around next to the uh, the Rhea Trail. So that's pretty cool. We, uh, we are getting the first sort of summer flights in Arizona, so that's pretty exciting. Yeah, look at that. Very so nice. here we just found this very unlucky Abidus, which is a, another species of giant water bug like those Lethoceras we found earlier. Somehow made his way out of the water and is now being eaten by Nova Messer. Poor guy. They are kind of dumb though, and I'm no, I don't feel that bad. And they're very, very common here. Um, if it was a Lethoceros, I'd feel a lot worse, but these guys are, they're a little stupid. So we'll let the Nova Messer enjoy their snack and um, get on with our lives. So yeah, just try not to think about it too hard. And, and So we are picking up the black light to relocate. It's a little too windy down here to, um, to be black lighting. You can probably hear it. But the one of the, well, besides we found some mantises, Katie did oh, right there. excuse me, we found some mantises, we found some Katie dids like this guy, but probably the most visually interesting, he's not very large, but visually very cool, is this little beetle. Um, I already forgot the genus name, Temnoshelia or something, uh, I'll put it in the subtitle, but we got some really excellent macro of this, so I'm going to go and throw that up right about now, but just a very... Very um, pretty beetle. Just that super nice emerald emerald green color is uh, very nice. So yeah, cool guy. We're gonna move up to uh, a different spot that should hopefully be a little less windy, and uh, set the black light up yet again. See if anything happens. We did get some males down here, but no queens. So here's hoping that it was just the wind, and we'll find some better stuff. Uh, up a little higher, and of course we'll do a little bit more night searching up there too to see what's foraging and everything. Pretty sick, we just found a massive Tetramorium colony of the native variety, not immigrants. So, uh, wow, this is a really large colony. Very substantial, and they have Queen of Lates running around, so they could fly today or tomorrow morning, I'm not really sure what time. But, yeah, wow, we got some Tetramorium. That is very cool. This, uh, we'll take some macro actually, yeah. uh, to figure out if this is Hispinum or Spinosum. But you'll know and you'll see the macro and it'll be cool looking. So, yeah. But that's, that's pretty cool because that is a lot of workers out. That's probably minimum 300 workers out of the nest. And though, I mean, you saw how small those queens were. So, I guess colony size of around a thousand is reasonable. Um, I was always thinking that they got, you know, 500 or so, but I could definitely see that being over a thousand worker colony with how many are out. Because oh, they're just everywhere. 
Very cool. We found a stick bug. Yeah. Yeah. Fatally Optus of Spinoza are flying. It is the morning, if you couldn't tell. Look at this. They're totally fully going. Wow, this is incredible. This might actually just be the first flight footage of this species. Look at him go. So I showed you guys those Tetramorium that were posted up for flights last night. And I just found this deal at Tetramorium Spinosum. That's very cool. I also caught, she's not delated yet, but it's a uh, an obtuso spinosa queen with her mates. I've caught them while mating. So I'm hoping that they had a good coupling and she'll uh, remove her wings soon. We just found this Ferrellius prunosus delate. Well, she's actively shedding her wings, which is pretty cool. Yeah, look at that. Ferrellius. So this is funny. We were, we're starting to pack up. We're not leaving just yet. We're going to go back down to the water, too, to find some more water bugs. But you'll notice here we have an Aphenogaster Wachacana queen right outside of our tent. Like, that's the tent. We took two steps outside, and she's just up against this brick wall. Pretty cool. And well, that's just about everything that I have for you guys this time. I really hope that you enjoyed this vlog. I sure enjoyed making it. Um, and yeah, just thank you very much for watching. Be sure to check out arthropodantics.com and have a great rest of your day.